Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Bites with Lena. Your go-to space to learn tech skills in the simplest, most beginner-friendly way. Before we dive in, a big thank you to everyone who watched my previous video on the data analyst career path. The comments, questions and messages you send me every day help me create content that is actually useful for you. If you haven't seen that video yet, pause this one, check it out and then come back. Trust me, it will make this session much more easier to understand. Here on Tech Bites with Lena, my goal is simple. I want you to understand tech without feeling overwhelmed, even if you have never written a single line of code in your life. And yes, that's completely possible. Every day I get messages like, "Lena, I'm not from a technical background. Am I even eligible for data analyst jobs?" "Ma'am, your videos show SQL, Excel dashboards, but I've never touched any of this. Can I still learn?" "Lena, can you make something specifically for non-tech learners like me who want to start a data analytics career?" If you have ever asked any of these questions, this video is exactly for you. Here's the good news. You can start a career in data analytics without a tech degree, without coding experience, and without being a math wizard. And today I'm going to show you how, step by step. But before we continue, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and ring that bell so you don't miss any beginner-friendly guides like this one. Trust me, this is going to be fun. What is data analytics? Let's start with the basics. Data analytics is simply using data to make better decisions. Nothing scary, no big math, no coding. Just thinking smart. Imagine you are managing your monthly expenses. How much money did I spend? Where did I spend the most? What can I cut down next month? When you do this, you are already practicing analytics. Another way to look at it: think of data analytics like a detective story. You have clues, data. You look for patterns, like who did what, when, and how much, and then you make a smart decision based on your findings. So yes, even tracking how many cups of coffee you buy in a week is technically analytics. You are gathering data, spotting patterns, and making smarter decisions. Real life example: burger shop. Let's imagine you run a small burger shop. Every day you note how many burgers you sold, which burger sells the most, what time customers come in, which day is busiest. After a month, you notice cheese burgers sell most on weekends. Veggie burgers are popular in evenings. Sales drop on Mondays. Now you can make decisions. Buy more buns for weekend, promote veggie burgers in the evening and run a small Monday discount campaign. Congratulations. You just did data analytics. Notice something? At no point did you need to know coding or advanced math. You just looked at the data, found patterns and acted smart. Why non-tech students are perfect for data analytics? Many students worry that because they are from non-tech backgrounds, they'll struggle. But here's the truth. Companies actually love non-tech analysts. Why? Because a lot of analytics is about understanding the business, talking to people, and making sense of trends, not just crunching numbers. For example, commerce students understand business processes. Art students understand human behavior. BBA students understand operations. Humanities students understand psychology. Here's a real-world example: Mintra's discount strategy. They want to know which product sells the most, which seasons are strongest. price sensitivity who buys what notice something no coding is required it's about observation reasoning and communicating insights in fact analytics is roughly 70% of business thinking 20% using tools and 10% technical skills so if you are a non tech student you already have a huge advantage tools simplified let's talk about tools you actually use excel it's like a supercharged calculator If you have ever tracked your expenses or grades in a spreadsheet, you've already started using Excel. You'll learn formulas like sum, average, and simple charts, all beginner friendly. SQL. Think of SQL as Google search for company data. Example: Show me all Swiggy orders from Bangalore. SQL does that in seconds. No programming, just simple commands to find answers. Power BI or Tableau. These tools create dashboards like visual report cards for your business. You learn to make charts like sales overview, top selling products, revenue trends. Managers use these dashboards to make decisions, and you can create the same as beginner. Python, this is optional, only needed if you want advanced analytics like Netflix recommendations. But for most beginner roles, you won't need it. Mini hands-on activity. Let's do a quick activity together. Imagine this data set from a small shop. Questions for you: Which product had the highest sales in Jan? Which product dropped in Feb? If you were the manager, which product would you promote next month? Type your answers in the chat or comment below. This is analytics in action. Simple data, simple decisions, no coding required. Career paths and salaries. 
Here are the roles you can target as a non-tech student. Data analyst, works with data, creates insights. Business analyst, focuses on business decisions. MIS analyst, tracks internal reports and KPIs. Reporting analyst, prepares management dashboard. Operations analyst, optimizes daily business processes. In India, freshers, around 3 to 6 LPA. For skilled analyst, it's 6 to 10 LPA. For strong tools and projects, somewhere around 10 to 15 LPA. Real job examples, Amazon. Here, you must know Excel, SQL, dashboarding. No tech degree required. Swiggy, ability to drive insights and business decisions. So yes, this could be you, even without coding or engineering. 90-day roadmap. Here's a roadmap anyone can follow. Month 1, learn Excel plus SQL basics. 1 hour per day. Focus on formulas, charts, and simple queries. Month 2, learn Power BI dashboards and create two mini projects, like a sales report for a store or your college event. Month 3, build your portfolio plus resume. Showcase your projects and start applying to jobs. Consistency is the key. You don't need a tech degree, just curiosity and discipline. If you want me to create a detailed video with step-by-step -step roadmap and practice series for each month, drop a comment below and I'll make it happen. Thanks for watching. If this helped you, imagine how many others it could help too. So go ahead and share it with your study group, your LinkedIn crew or even your college WhatsApp gang. Check out the other videos I've made. They're packed with insights, tips and real world skills to help you thrive in the tech. Hit that subscribe button, tap the bell icon and stay tuned because every bite you learn here brings you one step closer to your dream career.